Okay, we are ready for finish machining of the side walls of this pocket. I will create new operation to the contouring. So there are plenty of ways uh, how to create uh, finishing operations in SprutCam. I will use just one of them, it is 2D contouring. So very versatile operations, not only for contouring, but also for finish machining. So what I'm going to do here is to select the tool first. So as you can see, SprutCam has uh, chosen a 5 mm cylindrical mill, which is okay for me. So the, the tool chosen by default, uh, by default is okay. So next I need to uh, select job assignment. So I go to job assignment. First of all, I'm going to select uh, bottom level and top level using those surfaces and the contour itself. So I double click on this contour and press curve. So and calculate the tool path. So what we can see here is the tool path, but we don't have leads in and leads out. As you can see, the tool path is going downwards here and it, it is not okay. So in order to make uh, lead in and lead out in 2D contouring, you don't need to go to leads and links folder. So you can make it uh, from job assignment uh, or from, yes, from job assignment. Okay, I click this little uh, rectangle and drag. So here are the lead in and lead out, for example, like this. After that, I need to recalculate the toolpath, and I can see that uh, lead in and lead out are applied for my tray for, for my toolpath. Okay, that's it. And now we will go to simulation and check roughing waterline and whole machining roughing waterline into the country. So I select whole machining and press run. Okay, next roughing waterline is applied. So I can increase the speed of simulation and finish machining. That's it.